Live look over downtown Spokane this evening. A beautiful day in progress. Boy, summer is rapidly coming to an end. We're right here in the middle of August. Where did the summer go? Your forecast first for tonight. Look for Clear skies, an overnight low of 56 degrees, light wind for tomorrow, a high temperature of 86, mostly sunny conditions. Winds picking up tomorrow evening, and we'll see an increase in clouds tomorrow evening as well. That is a dry cold front that will be pushing over the region bringing up the concerns about fire weather because of the increased winds. And um, it is going to cool things down for the weekend. 84, our high today, 83 is average. We started the day off at 56, which is exactly average. No precipitation out at the airport. Now our sunset is in the 7 o'clock hour as of today, 7.58. It's 82 degrees right now in Spokane with sunshine. It's sunny and 83 presently in Coeur d'Alene. Our temperature trend over the next seven days will be a little above average tomorrow in the mid 70s and then we dip actually one degree below average 81 for Saturday and Sunday before we start warming up again this little dip is thanks to a cold front that is going to be pushing through again tomorrow evening dry no precipitation coming uh, with this front but it is going to pick up our winds a little bit and that is not something we want to see uh, especially through the cascade gaps there's a red flag warning in effect there here's a look at our 24-hour forecast a westerly flow will keep things about average temperature wise tomorrow and then the cold front comes through tomorrow night cooling things down for the weekend but lower 80s not a lot of variation uh, temperature wise even with the passing front our overnight lows tonight will be down in the 50s and 40s 60 the exception in Omaka and 61 in Lewiston our highs tomorrow in the 80s around the region 86 in Spokane Valley 84 in Coeur d'Alene then 90s for Lewiston Moses Lake as well as OMAC. Here is your seven day forecast. A little bit breezy Friday night into Saturday morning. And then we cool down 81 on Saturday, 81 on Sunday. That's not much of a cool down, five degrees. And then warming back up again. Eclipse weather still looks just great. Maybe a high cloud or two passing by. Hopefully we will not uh, have any wildfire smoke obscuring our view, but otherwise we may be the best place in the country to be watching the eclipse. Of course, Caroline Rourke and I are headed down in a 40-foot RV to Baker City. We're going to camp out this weekend and report on all the craziness and eclipse mania in Baker City. That's one of the closest towns of any size from Spokane yeah. into ta in the totality of the eclipse. Very exciting. You'll be reporting live. We're going to follow you on social media. We are going to have uh, a lot of fun. It's a party. It is a party and in Baker, Baker City. City.